Okay, this is the first of a series of videos where we're going to explore this question. So when can a natural number n be expressed as the sum of two squares? So in other words, when do there exist x and y in in natural numbers such that x squared plus y squared equals n squared. So let's real quickly um, look at the examples for the numbers 1 through 10 and which ones can and which ones can't. Okay, so obviously 1 is 1 squared plus 0 squared, so that goes in the yes column. And then 2 is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared, so that's okay as well. So 4 is equal to 2 squared plus 0 squared, so that's okay. And then 5 is 2 squared plus 1 squared, and then 8 is 2 squared plus 2 squared, uh, 9 is 3 squared plus 0 squared, and finally 10 is 3 squared plus 1 squared. So these are all of the numbers between 1 and 10 which can be expressed as a sum of two squares. And it turns out that 3, 6, and 7 um, can't be expressed. in this way. And in fact, some integers can be expressed more than one way as a sum of two squares. So let's look at a quick example of that. Notice that 25 is equal to 5 squared plus 0 squared. And also, it's equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. And in fact, if you have a primitive Pythagorean triple, then that's an automatically an example of a number that can be expressed two ways as the sum of two squares. So I'll let you think about the details for that. Okay, so I've got two little results involving uh, our path towards answering this question that I want to do in the re remaining part of the video. I'll clean up the board and then we'll get to the first one. Okay, the first little result we want to look at is the following. So if m and n are expressible as the sum of two squares, so is their product. So this is a nice little result. So we're going to start off by writing the following. So we'll write m equals x squared plus y squared, and we'll write n equals z squared plus w squared. Okay, and then we'll take mn, so that's obviously x squared plus y squared times z squared plus w squared. And we can FOIL that out, so we're going to get x squared z squared plus x squared w squared plus y squared z squared plus y squared w squared. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is add and subtract the same number. So we're going to add and subtract 2 x times y times z times w, and then we're going to rearrange this in a way so that it factors into 2 uh, binomial squared. So let's see how that goes. So we're going to start off by writing this x squared z squared, and now we're going to add 2 x y z w. So there we've picked up an extra term for the time being. And then um, we're going to put plus y squared w squared here. So we're going to move that one over. And now we're going to have plus um, x squared w squared. And now we're going to subtract this new term as well. So minus 2xyzw. So notice we've just uh, added and subtracted the same thing, so we haven't changed anything. And then we're going to have plus y squared z squared. So this line is exactly equal to this line because we've just added 0. But now uh, we can do a little bit of grouping. So we can group these terms and these terms, and then notice that they each factor. So this factors as x, z, plus y, w, squared, and then this one factors as x, uh, w, minus y, z, squared. Okay, good. Okay, so next we want to look at this following little proposition. So if n is congruent to 3 mod 4, then n is not expressible as a sum of two squares. Okay, so uh, this is actually something you've probably already seen in a homework problem or something like that before. It's just the dots weren't connected all of the way. And so let's uh, start off with the following two observations, um, which are easy to show, uh, and I won't do that. So if A is even, then um, A squared is congruent to 0 mod 4. 
So that's like super easy to show. Again, I'll skip that. And then the second uh, observation is the following. If A is odd, then A squared is congruent to one mod four. That essentially comes from the fact that three times three is nine, which is one mod four. Okay, now the next thing that we wanna do is like look at this little chart. So let's look at a chart X, Y, and then X squared plus Y squared. And notice that we have uh, three big possibilities here. They could both be even, or they could uh, both be odd, or one could be odd and one could be even. And since x squared plus y squared is symmetric, it doesn't really matter. We don't have to look at the other case. So now if they're both even, that means they're both congruent to zero mod four. And so that means their sum is also congruent to zero mod four. Okay. Now if they're both odd, then they're both congruent to one mod four, which means their sum is congruent to two mod four. Okay. And now if one is even and one is odd, then they're congruent to zero plus one mod four. In other words, their sum is congruent to one mod four. But notice we've, ex we've looked at all the possibilities over here on the left of this table, but on the right of this table, we never see the case when n is uh, three mod four, or sorry, when x squared plus y squared is three mod four. So that's an impossibility. That's the end of this proof.